Chris Angus here from Polar X. I'm joined by Polar Doctor John Charles. Morning, guys. And the man. The main man. The <laughs> Barney. How's it going, guys? All right? How's your weekend, guys? All right? Yeah, very good. Bit, bit of football, bit of internationals. Yeah. Um, Watching them? Yeah, yeah, I did actually. Yeah. That's probably the first time I've watched them in about, yeah. I don't know, four or five years now. Yeah, <laughs> enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, no, it's good. There's some good. Belated happy Mother's Day to everyone as well. Exactly, Shout out to all yeah. the mums out there. Shout out to the mums. Hold tight, mums. Mumsy. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so obviously we've got four boots to unbox today. Uh, there's some hints around the edge of the boxes, uh, including on the left here. Uh, we're going to give away uh, a pair of boots today. So all you've got to do is share this live unboxing uh, and comment the boots of your choice you want, and we'll give a pair and your away size. later this week. And your size. And your yeah, size. that could help. <laughs> yeah, but let's jump straight into it. So this is the new Nike Motion Blur Pack. Uh, as you can see, it's inspired by the Clash Pack from 2012, the Euros in 2012. Let's get them all out. And finally, the material. There you go. Four unboxings today. So yeah, the new Motion Blur Pack. Launched this morning at 8 a.m. So I think it's available on site now, right, Barney? Yeah, so it was the early retail for Prodirect today at 8 a.m. Um, so yeah, available to go and order now. Like like you said, Angus, there's four silos. They've got the four silos, um, full collection, Hyper Venom in the, which you've got the dynamic fit there, but we also yeah. have the low cut. Which is fun. Which is super popular. Yeah. I think they're kind of built off the back of quite a few pros. We saw lots of customizations and we play it, pro players actually cutting the collar off. Yeah. Um, yeah, so Nike accommodators for that again with the the soccer the soccer lining. Yeah. Um, and as you see, it's inspired by the CTR from the year 2012, uh, worn by the likes of there's Valatelli, wasn't it in the in the Euros? Valatelli, yeah, you yeah. had Fabregas. Fabregas, Fabregas, I think. Iniesta got player of the yeah, tournament. Yeah, player of the tournament. Right well. Lars Bender, he's a baller. <laughs> FIFA baller. Yeah, so as you can see, there's a there's a little link there. Um, really nice colourway, isn't sharp, it? Sharp, isn't it? Yeah, soul yeah. player looks nice as well. And, just a reminder as well that the uh, apart from the collar, the tech is exactly the same on the low cut version as on the uh, high top. Yep. Exactly, you've got a bit of support there. Full, for you full knit as well, isn't it? Yep. And there was a stat about it was the most the knit was like the most highly dense knit out of any shoe on the market. So there was a lot of yarn in there. Yeah, um, yeah. Twice the thickness, ultra comfort. For those who've worn the new Hyper Venom Three, let us know what you think of it. Uh, just in the hands, it's lightweight. It feels great. I haven't tried on foot. I don't know if any, any of you have. No. Um, no. It looks super comfortable. Yeah. No, really, really comfortable. I've tried it on, and you've obviously got the rate dependent foam there for those fantastic uh, power in your shots. Yeah. Yeah. Smart. Strike score. Cool. Yep. What do, you use, what do you think the, this, the new colorway compared to the launch colorway that I've been in? Uh, this is quality. Yeah. 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 I like a white boot, so only a bit of white in there, but just the accents with the blue, mm. uh, just the small details as well, the gradient there. Uh, really, really smart. Nice. I think it really highlights the technology as well on the boot on that particular colourway. Mm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's the hypervenom. You see the link there. Uh, we'll go in straight into the material. You can't miss this out. Some of you might have seen uh, Neymar. He was in the the vapor, right? Yes. Put that there. Yeah. Uh, Neymar was in the vapor for international friendlies with Brazil. Um, you just see how strong it looks on pitch, and obviously this is inspired by the material that was worn by the likes of Ronaldo. Zlatan. Uh, Zlatan, when he's got that Back volley. in the day, yeah. Like yeah scissor Sweden. kick against uh, France, isn't it, in the group yeah, stage? Yeah, worldy. Uh, they actually had Urzil Matter back in their Nike days, yeah. uh, wearing this boot. And you just, I remember watching the Euros and just thinking how strong this looks on yeah. pitch. So, really yeah. smart move by Nike to come back and, yeah. and, and bring it back, really. Mm. And if you like pink, bit ideal, isn't it? John's a bit you, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. definitely. <laughs> Most yeah. definitely. Salmon pink. Salmon <laughs> pink, yeah. Is that Not the colour code? Salmon pink, but... <laughs> no. <laughs> Bit more fluoro, isn't it? Yeah, it looks nice. No, looks. really strong. Obviously, you see them a lot on pitch. Mm. Uh, I think these. This is the inline pack, so you're going to see a lot of this on the pitch over the next few weeks. Yeah, I was looking for it. I was when we were watching the England game yesterday. We were looking to see if it went on pitch. Sometimes a few of the players kind of sneak out, but yeah. it wasn't anything on there. Good no. performances last night. I really, I was, I was impressed by. I was um, Keane, the young centre back, well, Burnley centre back. Yeah, he's he he? yeah, he's yeah, class. Sure. He Defoe looking as good as ever. Yeah, Defoe. He's just like revitalised Defoe, isn't he? Yeah. Bit of sun in the MLS and sort of right out. Legend. Uh, yeah, and so obviously, I guess, other players. So the name of that is Coutinho. They'll be wearing these. Uh, Hazard. Hazard and the Vapour. Carl Walker. Yeah. And Carl Walker in the high top. Yeah. Exactly. 
Yeah, smart. So again, again guys, let us know what you think. Uh, we're going to give a pair of these away today. So all you've got to do is share the live unboxing and comment your boot of choice and your size. And we'll choose a winner uh, later this week. But again, let us know what you think, which one's your favorite pack. Um, so that's the Mercurial. Strong, strong color yeah, in nice. that one. Uh, we'll jump straight into the Tiempo. So again, the Tiempo, this is just a classy boot. They've, cut, they've covered it over with the, with the black tick, but there's also, but there's, I don't know, is this, I don't know which boot links to it, whether it's the CTR, the Tiempo, it's a bit of green. Mm. Maybe a mixture of both. Mixture of both, yeah. yeah. Who, who's the classiest player, Euro 2012, that oh, was wearing? It's got to be fair, though, isn't it? Yeah. Free kick against yeah. Um, Croatia. Yeah, controlling, controlling from deep. Yeah. Mm. yeah. There's only a few players that pull it off. Yeah, the absolute best. Um, Shevchen Shevchenko was actually wearing it as well during that tournament. Andre, was yeah, he? Yeah, Andre. Yeah, didn't that's do, his last. Didn't do much in it, but. Nah. In his home nation. Fair and play. also, a legend, German legend, big man up top. Who? Miroslav Klose. Miroslav. Yeah. <laughs> Goals for the fun. Big goal machine. Guy. Yeah. Yeah. I saw a stat over the weekend. Uh, Ronaldo, he has obviously scored two goals on the weekend, including a free kick. Yeah. So he's back. Uh, but he's hit now 70 goals for, for his nation, for Portugal, which is just one behind Miroslav Klose. Yeah, and it's, he's like third in, of all time, isn't it? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. We've got a few, uh, uh, we've got a few points coming in from the guys yeah. that are locked in online. Waleed said, let me see him, let me see him. So <laughs> you have right, seen him right. now. <laughs> Will you be doing a giveaway? Yes, as Angus has just said, share. Um, the video and comment your size and choice of boot you would like to win and we will be contacting people today. When later, this week, later this week. Later this week? Yeah, no, run, cool. no, okay. Keep yeah. him keen. Keep him keen. <laughs> uh, a few more hyperventers looking good. I'll try them for you, Jordan Watson. <laughs> nice Jordan. Share this video mate and uh, <laughs> let us know. You might, might be able to give him, give, him a, give him a spin for us. Yeah. Jack Hines is saying we definitely go for the Mercurials. I think Mercurials, that colourway yeah. is definitely really popular, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's so good. Yeah, kind of yeah. little gradient into the white. Would really you go nice. high top or low top though? Uh, I don't think I can quite pull off a Mercurial. I'm not I'm not no. I'm not the most, I'm not the quickest, you know. <laughs> As I said, I'm more of a kind of controlling controlling baller. I swear your style of play changes each week. Baller, <laughs> controlling. Keeper at the weekend. Keeper at the weekend. <laughs> yeah. Hey for keepers out there though, we also got the glove. So nice point, nice point, Barney. Um yeah. This is the Vapor Grip, uh, obviously it ties into the Hypervenom. Mm -hmm. So you've got players like Jack Butland who slip into this. Uh, I think a few Joe other, Hart maybe? Joe Hart might jump into the, yeah, yeah Tim, uh, Tim Corsfar maybe. He also has a black palm, but the colorway is just together. Nike have starting to really smash that, I think. Uh, yeah. Just matching the boots and the gloves and reala realizing how important it is for keepers to look sharp. Yeah. Colorway is looking really fresh for summer as well. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, proper summer vibes. Proper summer so vibes. much, so much love for the Mercurial company. It's really? mental, yeah. Yeah, I don't really. blame them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and obviously the last one, last touching point, the Magista, which I think is going to be an underrated colourway in this pack, and the Opus. Mm. Uh, really, really clean, really smart. I quite like the, the fluorescent yellow, especially the accents on the heel. And the collar as well, to be fair. Mm. The collar's strong. Um, it doesn't really tie into uh, the past. I don't know if you could tie into the, the I think CTR. Probably, yeah, it probably ties into the CTR. So. Yeah. You had quite a few boys in the CTR. Torres. Torres. Oh, yeah. Fernando in the CTR. In the tournament. Top goal scorer, I think, was or joint top goal scorer Ronaldo was up there with three. I think Torres was three as well. So it was a good tournament for him. It, yeah, it, wasn't, sh it wasn't shining. Torres got it overall, didn't he? Did so it? he yeah. ended up getting the golden boot from the, the rather complicated way that UEFA award it for when it's tied. But he was in the laser. Yeah, he got the laser there, yeah. So yeah, yeah. yeah he, was, um, nice he wasn't He was doing much for us at Chelsea. I think he had quite quiet season after coming from Liverpool, but he was he didn't keep doing well for yeah. Yeah, the, the, Euros, the official Nike line on the uh, pack, basically they're, um, what they're communicating about the boots, they're saying um, rapid movement, visual distortion and fallen defenders. Um, they're saying that the motion bird pack is fast even when standing still. Basically got superior traction for multiple surfaces mixed with loud, energised colours which dissolve to white on all four boots. That's kind of a nice way of thinking about it. Yeah. And they're saying that it creates a collection that is in constant motion. So it is going to look really cool when it's on pitch, players going really fast, you'll kind of get those fades of colour. They'll stand out nicely on the pitch when you're looking um, up on the pitch to pick out your player. You can see those flickers of colours right on the heel areas, easy to spot players and pick them out. Yeah. Visual acuity, I think they used to call it on the old... Uh, the old yeah. Technical, that's the word. product doctor. Is. Talking about flashbacks, yes. we've dug something out of the uh, old product archive, which people love to see. Oh, yeah. This is our original ad from one of our catalogues from yeah, back in the day. The US brochure, so the, the campaign back in 2012, it's all about my time is now. 
Um, I remember they have some great advertising. Um, I remember the advert with Neymar, um, Ronaldo, etc. Um, basically, when Spain um, lifted the trophy um, back in 2012, um, well, they lifted the trophy on the pitch. Um, in terms of the battle of the brands, really, Nike smashed it. Um, followed on from the success of the um, Brown Pack in European Championships 2008, and then obviously the Elite Series in 2010, and really stole the show. Um, obviously, we touched on um, Mercurial, Tiempo were there, as were the CTR 360 and T90s. Um, boots basically split in half with the front half and the back half. Um, I remember we were chatting to a Nike guy at the time, the product designer, um, and, um, Andy Kane, I think it was, and he was explaining how the, um, the clash came together with traditional um, white and then a blocking with a modern and contemporary colour. Um, basically, simple idea made a real impact on the pitch um, with the idea of a bold clash, um, which was Nike deemed perfect for the kind of rivalries um, that happened during tournaments, both between the players and the fans of the competing nation. Nice. And um, it basically accounted for 46 out of a total of 76 of the goals. So 60% of the goals were scored in Nike Clash boots. So you can't really do better than that. So That's really, mad. really fantastic tournament. And maybe Nike hoping to repeat the success of the Clash boots with this new motion blur pack in 2017. Nice, so we've got a few, oh. more, few more questions coming in from the guys who are locked in. Just to remind you, this is the new Nike Motion Blur Pack. Yeah. went live this morning for early retail at 8am, so we're kind of giving you the lowdown. Um, a few questions come in around kind of sole plates and uh, shoes available within the collection. So as we said, there's the four silos, which Angus has got in front of him. Um, you've got the Tiempo, the Magista, the Hyper Venom and the Mercurial. Uh, Hyper Venom in the dynamic fit and the low cut colour, which we've kind of seen as a pushback from a lot of players and yeah. Nike have kind of jumped on that jumped on that feedback which has been great. You've then got the Magista, Opus and the Obra in the high cut and the low cut collar and then you've got the Mercurial um, Superfly and also the Vapor. So in the Mercurial there is the FG which is priced at £240 for the Superfly and £250 if you want it in an FG, SG. There's always a kind yeah. of £10 um, addition for the kind of soft ground versions but it's probably Floor is starting to harden up, pitch is starting to harden up Summer's a little coming, bit. Summer's yeah. coming, spring's here. So yeah. um, let British us know if you still, time. yeah, let us know if you, let us know where you are, I suppose. Are you whereabouts in the UK or abroad? Are you still wearing SGs? Are, are we seeing most people switching over to FGs? Let us know. Yeah, also if you had a pair of the old Clash Pack, let us know. Like, you can send a pick in, that'd be good. Even better, yeah. Uh, you always you know when it's time to change the studs, don't you? When you they, they switch from the uh, high vis Premier League ball to yeah. the, uh, and I think they've been using that for a week or two now, mm. haven't they? So. Yeah, yeah. If anybody, yeah, it's like if there's anybody got these pictures of Clash Pack, we would absolutely love to see them. Yeah, for sure. Probably yeah, get yeah. a feature on social, and just might give you a shout out. Yeah, might if you tag us in, uh, then we will keep an eye out for you guys. Yeah. So, yeah, Hyper Venom. Obviously, you've got the the dynamic fit in an FG at two hundred and forty or one ninety if you want the low cut. And then again, there's an additional ten pounds on top for the SG and the AG versions. Which someone has asked if there's an AG version. There is. Um, it's a massive collection from Nike. Huge, yeah. So if you kind of hit the first billboard you see on site today, um, you'll be able to kind of scroll through all the products, and there will be more to come. Um, the Magista, as we said, two forty in the Obra, and then also one ninety in the low cut Opus. Um, Tiempo Legend. Uh, we've also got FG and SG versions. Uh, one sixty for the FG, and again an additional ten pounds for. 170 in the SG. So, like I said, let nice. us know if you guys are switched into your SG, uh, FGs or if anybody is still repping F, uh, S, F, SGs. Get sorry. FGs and SGs right, Barn. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, FG, boys, what FG, are we thinking? Fa favourites of all, all the boots in terms of. Uh, Can we do Clashback and then Motion Blur? Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's, Let's do, do that. that. Yeah. So, we'll start. Go on then, Cheers. Uh, John, you asked. You okay. Said, What's your top four? For me, all colourways, fantastic from the original Clash Pack. Um, but for me, the cool blue of the CTR and was a classic, classic boot. Yeah. Sad when they turned the lights out on it, but fantastic boot, fantastic yeah. colourway. So for me, really cool colour for that summer. Top Great one, okay. Boot. Nice choice, Barney. Uh, I'm probably going to have to go CTR as well, you know. Oh, CTR? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Only because man like Andrew isn't it Perlo like just bossing it. <laughs> Barney and John in agreement. Perlo, yeah. Shaker. Oh no, Perlo's in. Sorry, Perlo's in. Um, sorry guys, he, we thought he was uh, an expert in football. Turns out he's not. So you're gonna go. CTR? I'm gonna go, and I'm still gonna see. I'm gonna stay CTR. Stay CTR for. But from, from Perlo puts it on. It was yeah, Iniesta and okay, Iniesta. Still Little happen. Spanish maestro. Iniesta, yeah, yeah. Spanish Joe Allen. Yeah. Uh, for me, I don't know. It's material. Yeah. 
I seeing CR7's left hand that goal, his volley uh, for Sweden. Yeah. I edge of the box as a kick, which is unreal, and the boot itself is just so clean. So for me, Cash Pack Mercurial. So now the motion blur, John, you're up. Okay, motion blur. Love the CTR influenced hypervenom colorway, but because I think it's going to pop out so well on pitch, Mercurial, both the high top and the low top, I think okay. the color looks amazing. Yeah. It's going to show up really well on pitch, looks cool. As you said, love the pink. Cool. Pretty in pink. Pretty in pink. Pretty in pink. Barney? Um, I, I really like the low cut hypervenom. Yeah. But just white, probably a bit too bold for me. But yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of that kind of low cut version. So. Yeah, so yeah. number one. Yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. I do like the colour. I do like the colour. I just couldn't pull it off. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's not over yet, mate. No, I mean. Dream's not over. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess for me, it's it's going to be between the low cuts, it's between the vapor and the hypervenom. Mm. Uh, I wear the vapor usually, so I think I'm just going to go with this. I don't mind a bit of pink. I don't mind standing out and getting a few kicks, getting ankle bruises. And add in. Those of you that have already tried out so the much. new yeah, hypervenom yeah. free um, in any colour, it'd be good to get feedback on that as well, see for sure. how you're getting on with that. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So we've um, we've got an interesting one coming from Magnus. Oh, Magnus. He's saying he used to wear CTR three hundred and sixty. Should he now use Tiempo or Magista? What's the most similar? Oh, John, got to be Magista. Got to be yeah. Magista. Yeah. Got to be Magista. Aimed at the same type of player, mm. the same type of player that would have worn, um, or that did wear indeed CTR. Now wearing um, Magista, um, Iniesta being perhaps the greatest example of that. Yeah. yeah. So there you go, Magnus. Magista is the one for you. Yeah. Magnus repping his Magista's, it goes quite nicely. So. Yeah. Yeah. Magnus Magista. Yeah. Okay. Um, also, just nice. to add this, we've kind of touched on some of the accessories and stuff. There's a really some really nice power lines to go with uh, these. So, if you're looking to kind of fully head to toe motion blur, then there's some really nice, really nice lines online. So yeah. they should be uh, up soon. So go check those ones out as well. We've got yeah. some Aeroswift technology. Um, for Nike football training, that sort of thing. So. Nike clothing is always on point, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. so, so slick. These shin pads here, again, Nike is starting to smash. It's just the colour coordination. Uh, seeing the pink, black and white, just tying all in. For those that want to match their shin pads and their boots, Nike got you covered. Definitely looking the business for the business end of the season, I'd say. Could nice. we have a few, few more bits in? Could we have a look? Could we have some close-up of the uppers? Which one do you want? Uh, so let's start with Josh. Josh Toss was asking for on the Opus, so. Okay. Yeah, really smart. That's what I get from just feeling is just the leather. The leather's like really soft. Obviously, there's the it's like, I don't know what you call it, like the the contours, mm. the vamp on it is is strong. To be fair, they, I'm glad they made the update from the last Opus where they had mm. like the the pimples. And all yeah. this, so they've yeah. updated that, and it's just really yeah. really clean. Kangalite yeah. yeah. synthetic leather is really good material. Really good material. Yeah, strong boot. Any others? Uh, so let's can we go to the, the hypervenom? Hypervenom, yeah. Yeah. Let's check, can, yeah, can we also check out the soul players? Well? A couple oh, of guys okay. are asking. Right. Asking you all to yeah. see. So you've got that fantastically engineered agility plate for agility in all directions. Mm. Yeah. It is a little Real innovation. Yeah. Rashford. Shearer. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is really nice, isn't it? Yeah, strong. So nice. a few more, few more people asking, how can they get hold of a pair? Are we doing a giveaway? Come on, guys, we always do a giveaway. We always do a giveaway. So all you've got to do is share this live unboxing, uh, comment the boot of your choice and your size, and we'll pick a winner later this week. That's all you've got to do, just share and comment. And you could be winning a pair of these bad boys, or those bad boys, or those. <laughs> or you can get them online. You can get them online, like yeah. I said. They're available now, guys, uh, full collection. Um, early retail at Product Soccer. Check out the first link on the home page. Take you through to collection this page where you've got all those products have a look at. There will be an online feature as well, so you can kind of get the lowdown if you want a bit more detail. As you said, John, our product doctor, will be online today to answer any questions yep. that you have beyond the end of our live broadcast. And just drop them into the comments, and um, we'll do our best to kind of answer everything we can. So, yeah, exactly. Big, uh, big love on big love on the comments. Yeah, yeah. Hyper Venom's coming back a little bit. There's Is quite it? a few guys asking about the. Um, yeah about the height of their elements and really liking the colourway. So it started off Mercurial, there's always some Tiempo lovers in there. Yeah. Football connoisseurs, we call them. Yeah. Yeah, nice. nice. Fair enough. Again, and once again, guys, you can just win a pair, share this live video, comment. Uh, really simple to do. Uh, this is These are on pitch this Saturday. Saturday, Saturday. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, so yeah when, the, when all the Premier League fixtures kick back off again. Yeah. Yeah. So, yep. Nice. So again, let us know what you think, which one's your favourite. Uh, again, any questions, product doctors on hand. 
One last loop, one last loop. Yeah, it's just the mercurial for me. Clash pack meets motion block. Nice. Perfect. Okay, yeah, once again, guys, just like, uh, just share, comment your boot size uh, and the boot of choice. And one of you could be winning a pair of these. Uh, they're available online now, like, like Barney said. But until next time. Until next time. We'll see you then. Yeah. Cheers, Cheers, guys. guys. Let's open the box and see what's in it. Bam. We've got the classic fold over tongue that gives you a clean contact surface when you connect with the ball. Synthetic cage in the midfoot, completely redesigned. Don't forget to share this video for your chance to win a pair.